Hello, dear friends. Welcome to this magical moment of learning and sharing. I am your host, Eve. I have been reminiscing a lot about my moments spent in France as I immersed myself learning the language of French. And yesterday when I was taking some notes on my video creation, I started recalling of the places that I lived in while staying in France. And this video is just for me to have a record of a description of one of the places that I stayed in. And this place was just magical, really beautiful place. And so the studio that was rented to me by an American French old lady who had a dog that beat me once is located at this district called Pre saint javet right? And this beautiful district, it still remains one of the old, beautiful, charming districts in Paris, Pre saint javet And to get to the studio, there's this walled community right so there's one entry point for like 200 houses right and it's old it's imagine an entry point like a kingdom right a kingdom yes and on top of the entry point it's written villa de pre villa de pre i, I think yeah right and so you get in and it's narrow streets narrow streets paved with stones and you have small beautiful charming houses right all going around this community all attached uh, to each other the compounds are attached to each other and small streets, small narrow streets, and this street that I lived in um, is called Avenue de Zacasia. Avenue de Zacasia. And this street had this studio that I lived in, right? And the studio was in a compound of so there was a main house where the lady stayed and within her compound there were three small studios right so imagine a compound with studios all around it like imagine a square or a rectangular form so you have one side with the big main house and then all around it are the studios and these studios were like wooden cabins all attached to each other and I was right in the middle and at the center there was a beautiful garden beautiful garden beautiful green rich garden and we each had tables small tables outside just imagine you know the small tables that you see on the Parisian bistros the Parisian cafe um, places right so I had my own small table with a garden chair and in the center of our compound was a garden beautiful garden and the studio was like maybe not more than 12 meters square and this is this was my first studio that i rented by myself right i lived alone at the time and it, it was a small beautiful place with a kitchenette with a small table a foldable table 
I had a, a shower and toilet bathroom within this 12 meter square studio and I had a futon, futon. Um, it's a Japanese uh, bed that you put on the floor right so this was my first encounter with a futon and this is my first rented house that I got to paint right it was all wooden so when I got in I put a carpet and I bought some paint and I painted the walls it was a lovely pastel pink I remember that and I had like just a shell right a narrow shell that I put my clothes in I had a shelf where I put my books and this place was just magical it was small and cozy very simple and at the time I used to pay 400 euros per month I had a telephone that I would use to call my parents my friends and I had good neighbors I had beautiful souls of neighbors so to my left was an Italian lady she was staying at the studio on my left and it was a smaller studio than mine slightly smaller and further to my left was the main house that this old American French lady was staying at and then to my right along the corner towards the gate was a couple a Polish couple right and they had a bigger studio and we all lived like bohemians right it, it was just magical this place i mean imagine paris paris is full of buildings Osmanian buildings modern bu buildings and it's fully packed of big 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 buildings and it's likely not to see a lot of houses within paris you know you only have houses in the outcasts of paris so this place which was just at the border the periphery of paris had these beautiful houses alongside right and this walled community charming city like I, if i would build my own estate i think i would copy that près de villa right and so i had the italian neighbor i had the polish neighbors and i had the old american french lady as a neighbor right and i remembered again that like the italian lady used to make coffee you know i learned a lot of things through her and she gave me a book by Wayne Dyer. This is how I discovered Wayne Dyer, a wonderful man who has written a lot of significant books. And this book is The Power of Intention. The Power of Intention. And she gave me this book as a gift. It was written in French, Le Pouvoir de l'Intention. And this is how I was introduced to Wayne Dyer, right? And I have read since so many books by him, very, very formative reading. And whilst living at Pré Saint Javet in this beautiful uh, studio with a beautiful garden, I discovered other books whilst I was going to the mega library FNAC where you know they have this 
huge sections of books and this was the first library that I could open and peruse the books and I discovered La Maison Japonaise right so like whilst I was living in this beautiful gorgeous place the studio and the garden I started interesting interesting myself to I started getting interested in other gardening books and this is how I stumbled upon a Japanese book about how they lived or how they live you know the old Japanese living and because of the futon that I had in my studio and I started interesting myself to Japanese living you know so everything has been connected through just one thing and the other well I hope I described that as much as I could and yes I just wanted to talk about this this wonderful place that I lived in magical 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 world community of houses epic epic living and this also reminded me that I was alone but I was searching myself I think this is the place that helped me go towards my inner self because I it was such a simple life such a simple life in a big city but it was like going back to the country you know as you can hear right now there are birds singing and this is how it was back then in this wonderful compound that I lived in birds singing we'd sit outside have our meals outside just epic epic like I just want to relieve my moments in this wonderful compound and it was a beautiful journey that opened me to my own self it is said know thyself this compound helped me to know myself right so until next time be good to yourself be good to those around you and I think I still want to share more of my stay in France. So bear with me more of the French experience and the French culture. Thank you.